Well, we've got breaking news. Looks like we've got another Wall Street related Ponzi scheme built on deceit and greed. Martin Shkreli, remember him? He's the CEO of Turing and Calabios Pharmaceuticals. He's been arrested on security fraud charges. He was arraigned in federal court in Brooklyn today. He pleaded not guilty to the charges. He's released on a $5 million bail. He's accused of illegally looting his companies to pay off personal expenses and business debts. Again, he was released on $5 million bail. It was basically backed by his father and his brother. Remember, Shkreli was scrutinized back in September for increasing the price of the HIV-related drug 50-fold. So is this capitalism, or is this just one bad actor? And how will this play in the presidential race? Joining me now, Doug Burns. He's a former federal prosecutor. We've got Eric Gooster. He's a criminal defense attorney. And Hillary Kramer, ANG, ANG Capital President and CEO. So let's take it to you, Doug. What did you make of this? Well, it's an interesting case. I looked through the indictment. Basically, the allegation, uh, Liz, is that um, he made misrepresentations to hedge fund investors. That's the first part of it. But then... He started the pharmaceutical company, right? And when hedge fund investors... Well, he invested in it, yeah. He yeah. Took a when the hedge thing. fund investors' investments went sour, the allegation is that he entered into fake consulting agreements with those people. They didn't really work for the pharmaceutical company, um, were paid money, um, and it was a sham. Interestingly, also, the lawyer... <clears throat> that worked with them on this was arrested. Uh, I found that very interesting because that's going to come into play. So black eye for Wall Street or what? Oh, Just I think it is. Eye? Yeah. No, I mean, you know, we don't prejudge a case. Obviously, we'll we'll see what happens. But at the same time, if you look at the allegations, particularly with the lawyer involved, I think uh, it is a little bit of a black eye. Hillary, he's basically accused of taking money out of the, you know, using the assets of the biotech to pay off <coughs> disgruntled investors. Uh, in the hedge fund, also looting the hedge fund to pay his personal expenses, you know, things like clothing, medical costs, food. I mean, do you think that this will be picked up in the presidential campaign? And he's uh, yet again the, you know, poster guy, poster CEO of not drug price gouging, but greed. Yes, the, the greed of Wall Street will certainly come up in the presidential election, but what we have even more up here is for investors beware, right? Buyer beware here. Keep it simple as an investor. Stick with bigger stocks, blue chip stocks, names you know, big mutual fund investments you know. If it looks too good, don't go there. Yes, Hillary's <laughs> point. Here's the thing. All right, Eric, this was back to 2009. Right, and so he got three million from investors, and then that money was obliterated, gone in two years' time. Still promising, though, a year later, returns of nearly 80 percent. No auditor, no administrator on his hedge fund. <laughs> well, how can a little guy? How can any investor see all that? It's very tough for for regular, ordinary investors to see that. You see these shows like American Greed, where people who are smart and skilled and knowledgeable give their money over to someone, and it, it's squandered away. And this guy, according to the accusation, he was taking a lot of this money and making, using it for personal gain. He was buying cars and boats and mm -hmm. trips and all kinds of fancy things. And that's what you get when someone is taking money okay. illegally. All right, stay right